Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop. Should be a fairly short, or at least short for my channel kind of video today. Just want to do a quick update on this Pearson Pro Palette system and give you a really practical example today of why I'm loving this palette system so much and where it can save you a lot of time in probing or in the case what I'm going to show you today is I've got to go back and clean up a couple of parts after a tool was dull and uh, just be able to go from my vise back to the pallet, clean up a couple parts, back to the, the jig I'm using to hold in the vise, and I'm not gonna have to probe anything at all. I'm gonna be able to just go back and forth, finish cleaning up these parts, and knock it out. If you're new to the channel, I encourage you to get out there and check out the other videos on machining, welding, knife making, Fusion 360, just everything else going on in the Blades to Be shop. For those of you already watching all these videos, hey, I appreciate you coming back. Hope you get something out of this one. All right, let's turn this camera around. Let's jump right into what we got going on here and uh, take a look at why this pallet system is so freaking cool. Let's take a look. All right, so I've been running some of these logo bottle openers out of some titanium. That's the operation that I was doing on here. So I run these in a pallet. I do six of them. I load it in a pallet, cut them all at the same time. You'll see that pallet here in just a moment. And it was going great. I cut the top side of all six of them, and then I come back and I just use this jig plate to be able to invert it, bolt it down, drop it on there, put some bolts through, bevel the backside, cut out the backside, and finish the operation. Everything was going great. I got, uh, I've got about 12 of these finished already. I've got a few more ready to go. In one of those operations, my end mill got dull, and I think you should be able to see on the backside. You see how that edge is all rolled up there on the back? So I've got three of these. So about halfway through a pallet, my end mill got dull and rolled up the backside edge on those. And in also rolling up the backside, it didn't cut those bores out well enough. So I've got three of these that will not fit on my jig plate. So that's the issue I need to go back and correct. Now, I really don't want to have to take this jig plate out of here. Uh, if I do that, I've got to reprobe it back in to get it all set up, reset it up on the parallels. So I don't want to have to disrupt that and slow down that part of the operation. I also don't want to have to probe every one of these parts to go in and just take a finish cut. I don't want to run the whole pallet again. That's a one hour operation, so I don't want to do that. So I was trying to come up with what's my quick and easy way to do this since I've got a pallet system that will repeat my setup. I went up to Fusion, and in Fusion, I quickly just duplicated this original setup on the pallet. So it's already patterned across. It's got that part going. I'll show you in Fusion in just a minute what I did there, but I just duplicated that setup, and I just went through. I already had the operation that cut this, but it was kind of a step down. Made it just a quick finish cut. So I made that a finish cut, and and since I copied it, it automatically patterns across the plate. I deleted all the other operations that are in there. I now just have an operation that's going to do a finish cut on the wings. On It would do up to six of them. We're only going to do three. We'll stop it after three are cut. Because I run the vise set up here and this is probed in at work offset G54 in the Tormach, I'm going to be able to take this entire vise set up off of here go put it in the drawer for a minute, and I'm just gonna change my work offset back to the pallet system, which I use G59.3, put the pallet on, bolt these three in there, run those parts, come back, take that pallet off, put this whole vise assembly with my jig, my parallels, everything as it is, change back to my G54 work offset, and I'm gonna immediately be able to start doing the back sides of these after I change the file. I won't have to reprobe anything. If I didn't have a pallet system, I'd be taking my jig out of here, I'd probably be clamping each one of these in. I'd be probing each one of these parts, getting lined up off of a setup point, recutting that operation, changing it out, do that three times, three different probes, get back, set my jig plate back up in here, probe that again. If I didn't have a pallet system, I'd be four different probing operations at three or four minutes a piece. That would add 15 to 20 minutes to fixing these three parts. As it is, probing's totally off the table. A very quick change to go modify the program to be able to run it should just take a few minutes and we're going to be able to knock this out. So let me go ahead and uh, you can see it's all nice and clean. I ran a bunch of these parts yesterday. I've got about 10 of these complete and uh, a few more to do today, but I waited till I was between so that I'm not going to be running coolant all over the place. We'll get this vise off here while it's clean. We'll get the pallet on, run these three, and uh, then we'll get the vise back on and do the back side. I'll show you what I've got going on in Fusion and then we'll come back down and start cutting these out. So really quick, here's what I did in Fusion to go and just cut those bores right now. Again, I've got the whole program set up. This thing takes an hour to run. Don't want to do that. There's the duplicate I did, but real time, this is what that looks like. Right click on that existing setup. Just going to hit duplicate. Going to put that whole setup back down here for me again. You can see that's going to give me everything. So first, let me just change the name of this. 
so we don't lose track of what we're working on. So we've got our duplicate example. It's already patterned, so it's already gonna go across all six. And I just need to go in here and hit delete, get rid of these things that I do not want to do. Don't wanna do that one. I do, this is the operate. no, I don't wanna do that one. This is the operation I wanna do, but we're gonna modify it. Let me get rid of these last two operations. So I've got this operation. Right now it's doing a step down because it's getting rid of all that material. So let me edit that. Get rid of the, the step down part of that operation. So I want the same geometry. I want the same heights, but for the passes, I no longer want to do multiple depths. I still want to remove that excess stock so it fits on the jig. And that's it. I'm just going to hit OK. Now, should go through. It looks like it's going to go in there once. We'll do a quick simulate. And yes, it's going to go in there one time and cut all that material. Full depth, one shot, knock it out. Well, that's it. Post-process that. It's got a new name. Actually, the other piece we want to do is we want to go into the setup itself and want to change the name of that file so that when it outputs it, it doesn't overwrite our other one. Hard to type with a mic in your face, but there we go. Duplicate example, change the file name on that. And now when I post-process that, I will have just a unique file that's gonna go through and just rebore those wings. Literally it takes a couple minutes in fusion, knock it out, we're ready to go back down to the machine and get these cut. See you back down in the shop. All right, you saw the setup in fusion. Let's get this vise off, pallet on. All right, so I did deburr that rolled edge off the back of these to make sure they would sit flat on the pallet again. And I always torque everything onto the pallet to make sure I'm holding everything the same. All right, so we'll go in here to our offsets, so work offsets. Right now, I'm on G54, so that's just current project. You'll see that I'm on G54 right here. I have G59.3 as my Pearson Pro Palette system, and that's offset number nine in Fusion. So when I'm exporting, posting my post-processor information, using work to offset number nine, that equates to that. I was just using device, that's where we just were. I'm gonna go change this to G. 59.3. All right, we got our offset change. Let's go grab our file. So again, here is my typical machine eagle bottle openers. Now I just want to go fix the wing bore. So here's that duplicate program that we created in Fusion that I posted. So I'm just going to open that up, double check. You see that in the picture, we're just doing the little wing bores. It should only be looking for one tool. Yep, tool number 41. That's the same tool I'm using on the other side, so I know that that is in the machine and ready to go. So that's it. We'll put a pallet on here, quick program, change that offset to 59.3, and we're going to hit go. Run those. We're actually only doing the three down this side, so as soon as those three are finished, hit stop, reset, pull it out of there, get the vise back on, and we're going to be ready to knock out the backside of these three and the rest of them that I have going on over here on the bench. Let's hit go, see what happens.
there we go. Like a two and a half minute operation. We got all three of those bored back out again. That pallet blows off pretty easy. So I'm just gonna dry that a little bit more, pull these off of here, swap that pallet back for the vise. We'll change our offset and we're ready to go back on the backside. Let's check it out. All right, so we got our vise back on there. Let's go take a look at changing our offsets. Also, here's one of those pieces we just cut. And back to fitting on our jig plate, no problem at all. So we're still on that G59.3. I'm gonna go back over to G54. We'll see all the coordinates change. So the coordinates have changed. This program, you'll see right here, it was set to run on G59.3. We don't want that program anymore. We're gonna go out here and get the operation number three, the bottle opener backsides. This program is designed to run in G54. We're back up here on where we probe this actually on a part of the bottle opener, so nothing to do with the pallet system, but I've already probed that in the vise. This thing will repeat with that vise going back onto the pallet. We're ready to go. It's a multi-step operation here. First, I've got to bolt it down. I'll cut the bevel out inside of here, and then I'll add some more bolts onto my jig, cut around the outer profile, pull that outer piece off so it's not loose, and then we'll take our last finish cuts. Takes about eight minutes total to wrap up the backside of one of these. We'll knock out one of those. You can see how it all works on the backside, and then we'll uh, wrap up this video and see that the pallet system lines up and, and actually goes and finishes this and we've swapped out multiple operations and haven't had to probe a single part in doing so let's make sure this backside runs like it's supposed to
backside complete, all beveled inside those wing bores all around the outside diameter. Nice finish cut all around that outside diameter. So there we go, quick fix. No probing, pulling vices off, pallets back on, correcting from a dull tool on a part and all back in business, all in a matter of minutes. Got a whole stack there to finish machining and then they can join their buddies over here. So I'm getting these ready for Blade Show in Atlanta, but hey, if you're interested in a titanium bottle opener, by all means, check them out on the website, bladestobe.com or bladesnumber2b.com. These are available. Let's wrap up this video. Well, you two, that's a wrap on another video here in the Blades to Be shop. I hope that gave you some insight into why I am such a fan of these pallet systems. Tormach, you've got all these work offsets in there. You can really take advantage of those work offsets if you've got a pallet system. Make sure you're using your work offsets for uh, a preset place where you're doing your tool setter, anything like that. All these different work offsets definitely help speed up your overall production. You just saw a great example of it here. I saved myself at least 15 minutes of probing or so. And if I was going and had to make the correction on these parts, uh, doing it one off and individually. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, check out the other videos on the channel on machining, welding, knife making, just everything else in the Blades to Be shop. If you like it, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment, drop a like on the video. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, I hope you're out in your own shop working on some projects of your own. I'll be here in the Blades to Be shop, just plugging away like always. So until next time, y'all take care.